Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the tie set schedule. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Tie set schedule solved problem 1 coming under the network topology. The problem statement is for the network given draw the graph and a tree. So the link currents. Write the tie set schedule for the tree. The equation for branch current in terms of link current. Also write the independent equations. So these are all the parameters we need to identify. Now we will refer the given network. So this is the given network. Network is nothing but a interconnection of elements. Here the resistors are available. Six resistors are interconnected called a network. Having the four nodes are available. A, B, C, D. Node is nothing but connection of element. So at node A, three resistors are connected. And six branches are available. Branch is nothing but element connected between the node. It's called a branch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six branches are available. Four node and six branches are available. The network can be represented by the graph. Graph is nothing but network, ele network elements are replaced by the straight line is called a graph so that we are easily understand if the directions also given that is called a oriented graph so this network is drawn like a graph with directions are given so this is a oriented graph b c d and a so here also b c d a four nodes are available this branches also represented three four two here five six and one the Resistors are replaced, only straight lines are written. This is called a oriented graph. The direction of branches are given by our own size. The direction is given by our own size. Direction is not given in the diagram, but by our own, the directions are given. So, first one, we identify the graph. This is a oriented graph. Now, we will go to the next one, tree. We need to identify the tree for the given graph. So, what are the terms available here? The total number of nodes is 4. A, B, C, D. Total number of branches 6. From that we can say, find the number of tree branches. If you draw the tree, how many branches are there? N equal to N T minus 1. Number of node minus 1. Number of node is 4. 4 minus 1, 3. 3. So, in a, in a tree, the number of branches will be 3. The number of link L equal to B minus N. B is branch, 6 branches. N is number of branches in the tree, 3. So, 6 minus 3, 3. So, the link, number of links are 3. The number of independent loop current is 3. Here, the 3 loops you can form by seeing the network itself. We can say 3 loop. So, it is given by 3. Now, we will go to draw the tree for the given network. So, the tree is nothing but a subset of the graph, not a closed loop. We already identified there are three branches are available in a tree from the formula. right? So, this is one of the tree. Like that, we can draw a number of trees. Maximum possible tree, the formula is available. Here, we consider this tree. Node A, B, C, D. We consider the branches 3, 5 and 6. So, in this tree, the three branches 3, 5, 6 is available. For this branch, we need to go with a link current. So, the branches not available here is 1, 2 and 4. So, this 1, 2, 4 will form the link. So, that is given. The tree consists of three branches. One of them is chosen. It consists of the branch 3, 5, 6. The other branch will form the link. 1, 2, 4 will form the link. So, in the tree, by by connecting the link is called a tie set right now we consider this tree now we'll draw the link by using the branches 1 2 and 4 so that diagram is given here so this is the graph with the link current so this is the tree 3 5 6 is the tree now we drawn 1 2 4 that will form the link tree with the link is called a graph with link current is a tie set. 
so the node a b c d six branches 1 2 3 4 5 6 this branch current now we will see the loop current a small i1 i2 i3 this is loop 1 we know that loop is nothing but closed closed circuit this is second loop this is third loop loop 1 having branch 1 5 and 6 loop 2 having 2 4 and 6 loop 3 having 3 4 and 5 so this is the tie set tree with the link current now we will see the branch currents here the loop 1 2 3 3 loops are there and what is the branch current so this is the branch current this is the loop current both the directions are same plus 1 both the directions are opposite minus 1 not available means 0 so first we will consider the loop 1 see this loop 1 current i1 both are same direction so branch 1 is plus 1 while coming to this branch 6 it is that is also same the same branch 6 is go, going with the opposite direction branch 5 same direction right so it is uh, the branch 5 is plus 1 and branch 6 is minus 1 right so i1 is the loop current 1 5 6 is the branch current both are equal both are same direction plus 1 opposite direction minus 1 not there means 0 so branch 1 and loop 1 are both are same direction plus 1 6 is opposite direction uh, loop current is flowing this direction and branch is current is flowing that direction so minus 1 then current is flowing like this so both are same direction plus i5 is plus 1 then we'll go to the second loop second loop having 2 4 and 6 2 4 6 what about this 1 5 6 mean what about the 2 2 3 4 this is 0 2 3 4 not covered with the loop 1 so it is 0 now we'll go to the loop 2 see the current direction 6 same direction 2 also same direction only 4 is opposite direction the four, current is flowing like this clockwise so 2 and 6 same direction only 4 is opposite direction 4 is coming down loop current is going away going up 4 is coming down so 4 is minus 1 2 and 6 is plus 1 what about the remaining 3 5 and 1 that are all 0 then loop 3 loop 3 loop 3 is also flowing in in the clockwise direction so it is flowing like this so i4 is same direction i3 also same direction i5 is flowing this side but i3 flowing that side so only i3 opposite side i3 and i4 same side i3 and i4 same only i5 minus 1 so by using that we can go for the tie set schedule this is the tie set diagram we will go to the tie set schedule by using this tabular column here only the branches covered in the loop 1 is given 1 5 6 2 4 2 3 4 is not given we need to write all the branches then it is called a tie set schedule now we will go to the tie set schedule so here the link currents are marked as a small letter i1 i2 i3 the branch current has written as capital letter i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 and i6 six branches are available link current means three loops are available i1 i2 i3 so this is the tie set schedule what we discussed earlier here all the branches are available earlier only the covered branches are available so loop 1 2 3 having branch 1 5 6 that we already discussed plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 2 3 4 not connected so it is 0 similarly branch 2 loop 2 connected with branch 2 4 6 that values are already we discussed remainings are 0 loop 3 connected with 3 4 and 6 branch 3 4 5 the values are available these two are plus 1 this is minus 1 remainings are 0 so this is the tie set schedule from this tie set schedule we can write the relation between link current and branch current the branch current in terms of link current first to consider this branch 1 only here plus 1 is there that is i1 this is a loop 1 so this is branch current capital capital letter 
this is loop current small letter see this only this is plus one remaining two are zero let us consider this may be i1 i2 i3 only i1 so capital i1 equal to small i1 then branch 2 branch 2 here only one is there that is i2 so capital i2 equal to small i2 then branch 3 at loop 3 here plus 1 is there so capital i3 equal to small i3 then capital i4 there are two values are available minus 1 and plus 1 loop 2 minus loop 3 plus so i3 minus i2 so first positive minus negative in branch 5 here plus 1 loop 1 plus 1 loop 3 minus 1 so i1 minus i3 i1 minus i3 first three brand only one values are available so easily we wrote here two values are written. so we write this difference between these two for branch current 6 loop 1 is minus 1 loop 2 is plus 1 so i2 minus i1 i2 minus i1 so this is the relation between the branch currents are given in terms of the link current or loop current right so from the tabular column basically we can write branch current means i1 i2 i3 loop current means small i1 i2 i3 where the values are available that alone written capital i1 equal to small i1 capital i2 equal to small i2 capital i3 equal to small i3 capital i4 equal to two values are there so i3 minus i2 like that we can write so the equation are numbered as from 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbered as 1 2 6 so equation 1 2 3 form the identities hence branch current is equal to the constant loop link current both are same branch current and loop are same for the first three equation equation 4 5 6 are called the independent equation that is also question is there find the independent equation so 4 5 6 are the independent equation so in this video we discuss the network topology tie set schedule for the given network first we draw the oriented graph then tree tree with link current then we calculated the tie set schedule then the relation between link current and branch current first three equation identities remaining three equations called a independent equation so we calculated all the parameters what is asked in the question Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.